Hey guys, welcome back to MVP Baseball 2005 Owner Mode with the Oakland Athletics coming off a huge playoff victory. 2009 champs, 11 and 1 in the playoffs. We went 98 and 64 on the season with Rich Harden winning the World Series MVP. He was lights out all playoffs for us. Uh, so now we're going into the offseason. Before we do that, though, I wanted to go into the um, owner's box here and upgrade the stadium. We got $55 million left to play with here. So let's go into some ballpark upgrades, I'm thinking. We could add more seats here. That's going to up our capacity to 52,000 people. We're currently at 42,000. I mean, that's $30 million worth. Total cost per year only goes up by $10 million. Considering we just made $55 million, I think we'll be fine. So let's upgrade the seats. So that just leaves one upgrade left for the seating capacity of a third tier of outfield seats. We've added the third tier of the infield seats. Final level will also increase the capacity up to 65,000. I mean, 52,000 is pretty damn good, though, to have right now. So now the rest of them, I say we upgrade everything at least to level 2 here. So our scoreboard it has, now has ads and lights on it. Uh, home run celebrations, yeah, let's do a stage 1 firework display. Lighting banks, yeah, we gotta put two banks now. Level 1, the basic one was just one set of lighting banks. So now we got two... Uh, next level is four lighting backs. That's going to be massive. We'll see if we even get there, though, right now. Ads and logos. Ads near the dugout. Sure, it's only a million. And then the restaurant. Let's throw a restaurant into the outfield. A million bucks there. I think the restaurant can bring in some revenue, though, because obviously people want to come attend the restaurant. So let's upgrade the restaurant a little bit more here to level three. Uh, ballpark attractions, we've already bought everything there. Concession stands, we have all the possible concession stands. And store venues, we also have everything possible there. So really the only things left to buy is within the ballpark here. Uh, we got 15.7 million left. So here, let's up, uh, that's 5 million. No. Home run celebration, sure. We'll, we'll upgrade that one to level 3, let's say. Lighting banks, let's upgrade those bad boys. Let's get to level four here. Because of a six banks of lights, and then that leaves us with 3.7 million. So I think we can keep the 3.7 million to have a little bit of money in the bank to start of next season. Uh, income statement. So overall, we made $182 million this year. And then with the new expenses, we're now up to $193 million in expenses. So technically, we had a net loss of $10.6 million. But that's with all those upgrades at the end there. All right, retirements. Vincent Durazo. Wow, he's only 24. Reason of an injury. Damn. He's good in our Blue Jays one, but that's too bad for him. Uh, Shea Hillenbrand, personal, 34. He's gone. Frank Thomas, the big hurt, out at 41. He had a long career. Spires gone. I don't think we had anyone up for retirement, though. We have a pretty young team still. Uh, Sadler, 21-year-old right fielder. He's retiring due to his ability, unfortunately. Other than that, though, no one of interest for us from our team retired. Draft order, White Sox are number one. Oh, we are... Draft in 25th. Yeah, we didn't have the best season this year during the season, but playoffs is when we turned it on. I think the trade deadline really helped with that. Went out and got some more talent. All right, so picking 25. That's pretty damn good. Let's see what there is here. There's a couple pitchers here. Oh, this guy is 18 as a starter. 73 stamina already. Let's give Ron Caruso a chance. Next up, ooh, a lefty, decent pitcher. Yeah, we can always use starting pitching. Third baseman, sure. Uh, decent outfielder, yeah. D. Franklin can replace the guy who retired on us due to his ability. Um, and then let's get this left fielder, Brandon Bragg, decent outfielder. And then everyone else is just going to be career minor leaguer. All right, draft review. Where does our guy rank up against the rest of them here? Caruso, uh, he's one of the better ones in the bottom half, I would say. Yeah, happy with that pick. All right, contract signing. Let's sign the rookies here. Yeah, so Caruso, absolutely. All these guys are getting contracts. Spent significant draft capital on them. Then the rest of these guys are career minor leaguers. 
Oh, this guy actually has a decent scouting report, Middlebrook. So let's give him a chance. And now the re-signing phase here. So we made a ton of money last year. I think I'm willing to up the payroll because I think we can afford it now. Just that with all of our recent upgrades to the ballpark, our expenses might be running a bit higher than what we're used to. So we're going to have to try and balance this out here. Uh, Zito wants $7 million. He's 31 years old. 200 innings last year. ERA is a 268. Okay, it's better than what I thought it was. In only two years, that takes him to these 33. Yeah, we'll we'll keep Zito around as the ace. He's a statement in our pitching rotation, so can't really give him up there. Jason Bay, 25 home runs, almost had 100 RBIs last year. 183 hits, good slugging, good on base percentage. Uh, I like his batting stats still. Power against lefties is 100. His batting against righties is also pretty high, 81 and 82. His fielding is starting to get pretty crappy, though. 65 fielding, throwing strength only a 50. And if he's out and left, he's got to make that long throw home. Um, I mean, I want to keep Bay. He might become a DH guy, though. So let's just keep on looking around here. Harden. World Series MVP, yeah, he's back. Abbott behind the dish, yep, he's back. Matt Kane, Cy Young winner last year, he's back. Uh, Kuiper, this guy we went out and picked up in a trade. His feeling's also pretty bad, but he's got some speed. He's got more speed than Bay, and he's younger than Bay. Uh, what's their batting looking like, though? Yeah, but Bay's the better hitter. Okay, let's take a look at the roster here, batting order. Yeah, because who what? Kuiper was batting DH for us. Who's our second baseman? Jose Reyes. Reyes, he still has a year left on his deal. He's doing great for us. Contact 90 on both sides of the plate. Almost batted 300, so we want to keep Reyes. Kuiper might have been a rental. Might be done with him, I think. Uh, let's see here. Kuiper, I mean, what does he want? He wants indispensable 900k. He would be a good bench piece, I would say, with batting stats like that. He's got speed, can pinch run him, just his fielding's not great. Uh, Pennington, you want to be a situational, although you were playing short full-time last year, I'm pretty sure, or maybe he was platooning with someone I can't fully remember. We'll sign Pennington back. Sizemore wants to be a situational outfielder. That's fine. He really came on at the end, though, when he had to go into play when a few... I think Bay got hurt, right? So Sizemore did go into play. His fielding's not great either. At a 60 throwing strength's weak, but he's a good plug-in if we need a backup outfielder. So Sizemore can be our backup. Uh, Brian Castilla, he... Oh, yeah, this is the guy that we acquired when we shipped out our other young prospect who wasn't panning out. Can't remember his name now. But yeah, he wants to be a starter already. Ooh. Uh, Felipe Lopez. This was a bench pickup. Yeah, he just wants to be a backup. That's fine. If you just want to be a backup on the bench, I'm okay with that. He's got good range. His feeling also not the best at 65, but he's got wheels. He's got contact against the lefties too, which I like. And he's a second position infielder. So that guy's a good backup to have. Hawkins, yeah, good bullpen arm. Scott Franklin. This guy was lights out in the bullpen for us last year. He might he might have earned himself a starting spot at 21 years old. Let's sign him. Uh, Urbina. Yeah, no, this is the contract I would love to get rid of. He wants four years. He's 35 years old. No, Urbina, you have served us well, but your time is done in Oakland, unfortunately. Uh, let's go back in MLB. So we just have those three left. So we'll come back around. Uh, Brian Roberts, he's 32. What, he's a second baseman. I think it's time to give the younger guys a chance, probably, to play. Uh, do we have anyone double it? Yeah, we don't have... Oh, we have, like, no second baseman. We got Kuiper, Reyes, and Roberts. And then in A and double A, we have no one. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to be signed. Oh, we didn't even draft anyone. Okay. Yeah, but Roberts is 32. He's not getting called up anymore. He's not getting any better. Although he just wants to be AAA. Yeah, I mean, it's good to have him down there to help develop the guys, but I think younger guys need more playing time. So we're, we're going to release Roberts from the team. Houston Street. This experiment really just hasn't panned out, unfortunately. 
Like, what's his pitching career? Like, ERA, 496. Yeah, I think we have given up on Houston Street, unfortunately. Uh, Pete Gill, I think the same situation with him, a 538 ERA in the MLB. He's 26 now. Time to move on from him. Bo Paquette, he's only 22. Yeah, keep him around. Los, yeah, 21. Uh, Pichardo, 25 years old now. That is 340 last year in limited playing time, though, it looks like. Yeah, I mean, situation, only 200K. We'll keep him around. Good trade bait, too. Cram, he's 26. How this guy? He's 26. Lincoln's 27. Devore is 25. I'm thinking 26 is probably going to be the age where I cut it off here. We need to get rid of the older guys and just focus on development of the younger the younger guys here. Because once they hit 26, 27, they're not developing much more. Grissom, he normally gets good. Unfortunately, not this year. Uh, Tyner, sure. And I think I'll just try and sign all the younger guys here first, and then we'll circle around and see if we need anyone who's older or not. Like, this guy's 27. He's gone. 22. 22. This guy's 27. 28. Yeah, he's done. I want the young guys to have a chance to pitch. He was 26, but we'll sign him. 28. He's gone. And then down in A, 26 and 23. Okay, so that leaves a few guys. We have 79 players, so yeah, that's okay. I think we can release the older guys then in the minors here. Like I know that's uh, I it's it's value, but like they're not going to be making the majors for us. They're just taking up a roster spot down here at this point. I want the young like this guy's fielding is a twenty with a ten range. Yeah, you're not playing. Uh, this starter guy, fifty five stamina, like not enough to be a starter. Lincoln, he wants to be in the majors. He's twenty seven. He's not that great. Like yeah, his second best pitch is a sixty nine splitter. That's not going to get the job done. And then Pierce, what are you saying? Yeah, your second best pitch is a 59. You're gone. Grissom, he's honestly not bad, but his stand was a 33. Not Can't really last that long. And then Alvarez, yeah, he's an A player. We don't need him. So it comes down to those three starters for the majors. Uh, Castilla, I want to sign him, but... We don't really have any room. Edwin Jackson is still hanging around. That is crazy to me. I know I, I don't I wasn't a fan of him year one. But he's had an up and down career here. He's been getting the job done. That ninety nine fastball is still pretty solid. Career ERA is under a four. So can't really complain about that. Franklin's already resigned though. Uh Castilla. I mean, we traded for him. Might as well give him another chance. And then worst case, we can package him out during the year. It's only $2.3 It's a small salary to take on. So now it's just between Bay and Kuiper here. Because even if we were to move Bay into the DH role, that means we need a left fielder. Ichiro, he's not going anywhere yet. I forgot that we got him. He's 36. Hopefully he doesn't retire on us anytime soon. Brinkman, he's only 24. I still want to give him another chance here. We'll see if he grows at all this offseason or not. If he doesn't grow and improves his batting, then we have to go out and find a new new center fielder. Or we give Sizemore a chance to play center full full time. So that, that'll be a battle between Sizemore and Brinkman for center, I think. Uh, Kuiper, I think he's going to be okay just being a backup. But like we already have Lopez as a backup. We've already got Pablo on the bench. Because Pablo and Pennington, I think, no, they weren't platooning at all. Pablo just wasn't that great. He's on a backup contract. Pennington was doing better than him, it seems. We'll see who grows better. One of them's going to have to move. Mind you, Pablo's a utility guy, and I know we've talked about this before. We could plug him into left field. Maybe that's the route we go. We plug Pablo into left. Bay can go into DH, and then Kuiper and Depth would get traded or Pablo and a pitcher maybe Jackson uh, Hamels is untouchable Kane's untouchable Zito if we have to we can move him but he's a legend we shouldn't really be trading him and same with Harden he's been here forever so the odd guy out is Edwin here 
And then Castilla can probably go because he's going to get upset. He's not going to be starting, but we'll see how he does to start the year. Okay, so there's options. We'll also see who's available free agency-wise. So, but yeah, let's sign both these guys for now. Better to have the value on the team than to be struggling to have value to trade later on. All right, free agency. <clears throat> Mark Mudler, do we bring him back? No, our starting rotation is absolutely fine. All right, so catchers. We have we need a catcher in A, it looks like. Anyone want to play A ball for us here? No, we're going to have to go pretty low here. Oh my god, this guy's a top prospect at 29 years old. Wants to be an MLB. Not happening. There we go. Bell's going to be our backup A catcher. Uh, first baseman. Got a couple young guys there. No one in double A though. Johnson, top 100 prospect. Barkett Johnson. Lots of interesting names out here. Brian Roberts, the second best second baseman. Still wants to play triple A though. Castillo wants MLB. So we got Reyes and Kuiper. But then, yeah, then we have no second baseman after them. How about this guy? They Shane's he's 20. Yeah, we'll sign you. And then who else? Matt Hill, sure, you can go into double A. And then we also need an A guy, Ward. No. Gibbons, he's 21. No, I want someone who wants an A contract here so then they don't get mad when they're not getting playing time. There we go, Dempster. Career minor leaguer is what it is. Maybe he'll, he'll develop. Probably not. All right, so at third, we got Chris Lee. Yeah, he's a stud, 23. He's not leaving anytime soon. Uh, Depth-wise, yeah, we got a lot of guys at third. Short, we're pretty deep at short. Yeah, we got a lot of players there. Center field. Yeah, it looks like uh, we could use some minor league guys to buff up the system. Polo, sure. Okay, left field. This is what I was looking at when we first started free agency. We got Fog out here. He's 23 years old. Good power against lefties. Good power against righties. Lacking in the contact department, though. Decent fielder. Bad range, though. Not much wheels on him. And then we also got Matt Holiday. Uh, yeah, got good power. But no one good enough to really come in to replace Bay. Uh, Depth-wise, yeah, we definitely need a triple-A guy here. Do we have anyone young? Olivo, potential. Yeah, we'll sign you. Nick Markakis. Uh, he's 25 here. He's got good fielding, good wheels. Okay, Markakis is actually really good. I like his stats. Do we mm -hmm. do we bring Mark Kakis on and shift them? Like, do we make him Ichiro's replacement soon? Or do we just let Ichiro do his thing? Don't put any pressure on him to leave. Mark Kakis would be a good bat to pick up, though. Could always throw him in left, but then that means Pablo's not doing anything for us. Uh, starting pitchers. Yeah, we got a lot of starters here. We'll have to make sure we have enough starters across the organization just so then we don't get stuck signing those old guys for stupid amounts of money. So we have two starters in A. Let's send some guys down there. We need to send three starters down here. Uh, one, two, three. And that means now we need three coming down from AAA into AA here. So one, two, three. So one, two, three. So we need two coming down from MLB. So let's send down these two guys. And then one, two, three, four, five. There we go. So each each team has five starters each. Wouldn't mind looking to pick up a younger guy though for triple A. Oh, Pello. You want to be an MLB though. Because outside of this, we don't have much starting down in triple A, it looks like. 
Roberts, what do you want? MLB. No, I need a triple A guy. Easily, he wants triple A. Derek Larmer. This guy's always supposed to be a good pitcher in this game and doesn't pan out half the time. Okay, easily, we will sign you to a triple A contract. And then relief pitching wise, we got Ginter, Garcia, Hawkins, and Wilson. That's a solid four. And then we don't have much depth behind them because we released most of our guys. They're all starting to age out. So we'll have to get some more relief pitching. It looks like Houston Street, we already released them. And then unfortunately after Street and Gill, it's all pretty weak of a class. Yeah, not a lot of good relievers hanging around now. Uh, Johnson... You want MLB though. Like I don't want to give you an MLB contract and you don't live up to it. Yeah, I mean, I guess we're gonna to have to sign these guys to MLB contracts, but they're gonna be in AAA the whole the whole season. Billy Del Sandro, sure. And then Hernandez. No, like someone give me a AAA. No, not that guy. He's 26. Need someone younger. Need enough time to develop them in AAA here. Like Zap, he's 20. Yeah, there we go. Tr a AAA contract. He's only got two pitches. I don't like that, but it is what it is. Yeah, so our major league roster, I don't see anyone that we need to sign to replace anyone here. Just mainly signing depth pieces here. So let's advance. Bell accepted. Dempster accepted. Olivos has accepted. Estrada and everyone else is considering we have the top offer for all of them. All right, more acceptances and all the people considering, we still have top offer. There we go, accepted. Just have two considering now. Zap's considering it, easily is considering both with top options here. Signed one of them, waiting on the last one to decide now. Any sign, there we go. So all of our depth guys that we wanted, we have signed them all, let's go. All right, staff, contracts, Maka, yeah, he's earned his title. He's staying here as our coach for a long time. Miners hitting coach. Ooh, his power is not great. All right, let's say let's say we release him. Uh, he is the best overall guy available, unfortunately. Although, yeah, his bunting is up. We don't really want to worry about bunting. I, I'm more concerned about power, and his power at 37 is bad. Um, this guy's got 63 power, 83 contact. Let's sign him, Abbott. And then who else needs uh, our miners pitching coach? Uh, his control is bad. Let's release him. Of course, he's the best option, though. Um, Leedy, his pickoff's not as strong, but his other areas are a bit better. Oh, how about this guy, Alfonso? Stam was only 41. Pickoff's 59, but then velocity, movement, control are all pretty high. Let's go with him. Just need a little change of sceneries in the minors, so I feel like we're not developing enough guys. All right, there we go. So that's everyone signed, and here we are into spring training. I'll auto set the lineups week to week, and we'll see how this team does throughout spring training. Going into the final game of spring training, A's are sitting at nine and two right now, ninth in the Cactus League. And we get the win against the Angels, 7-2. Spring training's over. Time to check out the player progression now. Cole Ham was still on top, our best player. He got better. Uh, Zito actually is improving, which is shocking considering he's 31. Jason Bay also got better. He's our third best player on the team. So yeah, we had, we had to keep him around. Can't give up that kind of value for nothing. Fielding strength and accuracy has really taken a dip. His range is up, though, I think, to a 70. His fielding's at a 65. Speed is down a little bit, though, but his batting's gotten better overall. So, I mean, he might be our prime DH guy now. Lee, yeah, he's going to be a cornerstone here at third for us. He's getting better. Smoke, unbelievable. He's only 23. I thought he was older. Yeah, he's a powerhouse first baseman now for us. Abbott, great catcher. Ichiro, ooh, the falloff is starting to happen. Contact against left, he's down by 14. His power against righties is up, though. Uh, still a great fielder. Still has the wheels. Keep him out in right, I think. His throwing, yeah, his throwing's fine for that. 
Ginter. He'll... I know he wants to be the closer, but he's just so good. I don't think we put him as the closer. we got to keep him in the pen to pitch more often. Harden's down. Kuiper's up. Kuiper's better than Reyes now, it looks like. Yeah. Okay, interesting. So Kuiper, uh, what's his fielding? 60 and 70 range. 65, 70 range. Okay, so Reyes is a slightly better fielder, so he'll probably get the edge there. Throwing strength 80, yeah. I think Reyes gets the edge at playing second, but we're going to have to do something with Kuiper then. Uh, Kane's improving. Good. Jackson got better. Curveball only went up by one, though. Not, not much of an improvement. Pennington, big jump there. Brinkman, this is what we were looking at. We needed his batting to improve, and it looks like it has contact plus eight on both sides. Power against righties up to a 70, and his power increase against lefties, plus 4 speed. Yeah, I think Brinkman's definitely going to be playing center this year as the starter. Uh, Pablo, he's just not progressing as well as Pennington is. However, I think he's good enough probably to start out in left field for us. So we might be moving Pablo out to left here. Uh, Sizemore got better too, though. Do we start Sizemore in left field instead? Pablo's feelings better though. Although Sizemore has more range. We'll see. Uh, Gant, he's coming up the list now. He's getting good at third for us. Hawkins, Castilla, Lopez improved, Franklin's improving, Garcia went down easily. That's who we signed. Okay, yeah, we're getting into the minors now here. Okay, so it looks like the guys that we needed to improve have improved. So here, I'll go through and do the positional rankings, uh, auto set the lineups, and then we'll see what the computer is saying the best lineups are here. Okay, so this is the lineup that the computer is spitting out to us. We got Ichiro, Reyes there, Bay in left, Abbott, yeah, they're saying Kuiper at DH right now. Smoke, Pennington, Lee, Brinkman, very similar to last year. Pachardo's now the backup catcher. Uh, McDonald's the backup in AAA. He really fell off. He's our fourth best catcher in the org now, I think. Ward, Olivo, no, he has to be down in the minors. Pablo and Sizemore. So yeah, we'll have to adjust that bench. Pitching-wise, Hamill, Zito, Kane, Jackson, Harden, expected. Castilla and Frank up, Franklin, sorry, up there in long relief. Garcia and Easley's up here. Hawkins there, Ginter, yeah, so we're going to have to also adjust that. But I'm thinking Bay should be the DH. I don't like his 65 feeling. His throwing strength and accuracy also, like, he's not going to be throwing guys out from left field. So, yeah, you know what? I think let's edit that out here. So we're going to move. Pablo's going to be playing left field for us this year. Oh, sorry, no, not DH. We need him in left. Pablo left, DH will be Jason Bay. And then, yeah, Kuiper's there, so let's see what it does with that rankings. Then Bay stays in as DH there. Pablo goes into left field down there, which is fine. He's really a plug-and-play guy now at this point. Uh, the bench stays the same, except Kuiper's on the bench now. we got a lot of lefty bats on the bench, wow. So that does decrease our batting from first to ninth now because Kuiper's not in the lineup. But our fielding improves from third to second. Is it worth that much of a trade-off? Probably not, but here's Pablo. I'm going to update his position to left field. Still going to be a utility guy. Career potential, four stars. There, so Pablo's now officially a left fielder. So at least he can qualify for the left fielding voting and stuff for the um, all-star um, all, uh, all game. If he does that well. We'll see. The 72 against righties is okay. It's his lefties that's not great. Actually, uh, yeah, Sizemore has less power though. So yeah, we'll just keep Pablo there. It'll be a little bit of a test just to see where we're going to be going in the first few months. If it's not working, we can always pivot and change it. All right, so call-ups, send downs. Lopez, yeah, I don't know. You have to be up here. Ward's going down. Uh, Olivo, you can go down. 
is we have Sizemore as the backup outfielder there. Yeah, so position-wise, that's fine. And that just means that we're going to have to bring up a reliever most likely now. Do we have any? Yeah, Wilson. There we go. So now the question is, do we want Wilson being our closer? Or do we stick with Garcia? Garcia had a good run last year for us. I wouldn't mind Wilson, though. He's the 39 stamina. He's not doing much otherwise. So let's let, let's give Wilson a chance here to close out games for us here. Or do we do Hawkins? Hawkins is pretty good. But Hawkins is our top... Uh, Ginter's our top lefty, actually. Him and Garcia can be the top relief options. Then I want to bring Franklin down here to get more innings pitched as well. Yeah, maybe we do... Hawkins as the closer. He's got a better fastball, 96. Wilson, 93 fastball, but then a 77 secondary pitch. At least Hawkins has an 81 slider. Yeah, I think, yeah, Wilson can be the setup man. has a 39 stamina. Franklin, easily. Easily, I'm going to put into their long relief role. Castilla and Franklin are going to be in the mid-relief ro mid role rotation here just to get them some innings pitched because they are on starter contract so at least they won't be too upset if they're pitching more often all right i think that is all the lineup set now yeah so over our batting is now 11th fielding is second running's first pitching's first we'll see what this lineup does it's early I mean, it's the start of the season, so we'll see where we are one to two months in. How is our financing looking? We made, what, $182 million last year. Total expenses are only going to be $150 million this year, so yeah, we should easily make money again. And our player salaries, last year it was around $88 million, I think, so we're actually down to eighty-two point six. So we have room to spend if needed come trade deadline time or any trade. We can take on bad, bad salaries to try to get some talent here. I think I will wrap the video up here, boys. Uh, next video will be the start of the season. We got Texas, Seattle, Texas again. Two games against the Angels, two series against the Angels, two series against Seattle as well. And then wrapping up April with the Yankees and Tampa Bay. So thanks for watching. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thanks for watching.